Hey, good after good morning. Excuse me. Um, yeah, there's still a lot of there's still a lot of flooding in this area, as you can see. Um, it, it's definitely subsided since from what we saw a little bit earlier today. But as you can see, the sides are still flooded and if we take a farther look back down St. Bernard Avenue, you'll actually see back there it's a lot worse. Now that's over by the uh, Circle Food Store. And as you can tell, there's some cars that look like they're stalled in that water. One lady just drove up and she said that her car now has water in it. What should I do trying to figure out what to do? But you know, when you see water like that, you really shouldn't be driving through it at all. We have seen some uh, bigger trucks, some of these bigger trucks, these semis that have been kind of rolling through there, pushing water into neighboring houses and other businesses. So that's something you also don't want to do. Now I'm joined by Marcus right here. He has been telling people to turn around, go the other way, don't drive through it, warning cars uh, and other vehicles not to drive through this because they can get stalled and that water can get into their into their cars. And Marcus, talk to me a little bit about why you wanted to do that, why you wanted to help. Well, I stay down the street. I've been renovating a house for the last 10 months and uh, this is the first time I've seen flooding like this in this area. Uh, so I walked down to the Circle Food Store because I know it to be an area that's known for flooding. Uh, it was up past my knees. Uh, so I just wanted to stop cars from going, especially the cars. The trucks may be able to make it, uh, but the cars will, will not be able to make it through uh, in front of the Circle Food Store. And just kind of like what we saw just a few minutes ago with, you know, that woman's car being overtaken yeah. by water. Yeah, I tried to stop her. You know, she uh, she didn't listen. I think she was a little bit older, mm -hmm. uh, so she may not have known what was going on. But uh, yeah, she, her car's got uh, water in it now. And, uh, you know, this is uh, this is something that the city's known for. Uh, I heard they turn, turn the pumps off. Uh, you know, they got to turn the pumps on. And uh, we need Sydney Torres here uh, at the food, Circle Food Store getting the flo flooding under control. Uh, you know, the community's really kind of suffering from this flooding. It's no right. good. Okay, and, and, and we do believe the pumps have been turned on, kind of receding, which is some okay, of good. the recession that we're seeing. Yeah, it's definitely uh, but going down. But where, you're, where you live, how bad was it over there? Two blocks over? Uh, not too bad. Uh, I mean, we had about uh, six inches of water in front of my house uh, on the stoop. Um, and then everyone moved their cars to kind of higher ground. Um, but, you know, I probably think maybe uh, at its highest over by where it typically drains down at, mm -hmm. uh, about a foot, about a foot of water. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much, Marcus. Yeah. And I'm sure drivers do appreciate you, sure. you warning them uh, Go back. You're not to turn back around. Uh, but as I said, you can tell that there is still some flooding. It looks like it's a lot worse farther back. Um, and it's just a good idea. If you see water like this, just, just don't drive through it. Just turn around, try to find a different way to get around. And if you don't have to be out in this today, don't go out in this. Reporting live on St. Bernard Avenue, Megan Key, Eyewitness News.